Welcome to OBG Talks. I'm Harry Van Shake, Managing Editor for Oxford Business Group in Africa. Now, today we're hearing from Slim Frediani, the CEO of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Djibouti, to understand a bit more about the country's investment climate, improved governance, and Djibouti's vision 2035. Thank you for joining us. So if you look out a window from our offices here at the headquarters of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Djibouti, you will see the sea and the sky. And the sky is the limit in Djibouti. Everything can be done, everything can be built, and we will be doing all of that, inshallah in the next uh, 15 years or so, going towards uh, Vision 2035. So we, we're taking Djibouti to the world diversified economy across all sectors, not just, as I said, uh, shipping and post activities, but also tourism, financial services, including leasing, crowdfunding, and all the inclusiveness that's needed in the financial services sector, as well as obviously the digital economy. Now, digital economy, as it happens, we have nine subsea cables. Not many countries can claim to have nine subsea cables, and we do. So we have a lot already uh, working for us that we will build on digital economy. So yes, we have uh, one engine really now driving the economy. However, we will, be have, we will have many engines. It will be multi-dimensional, multi-engine economy. Where are you currently on this broader timeline? And can you lay out the stages of, of your developmental pipeline in the context of Djibouti's vision 2035, for example? So the business model for the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Djibouti, FSD, is a PPP type of model in the sense that uh, we play the role of the P for public in any partnership, any project that we get international partners to come into Djibouti and partner up with us and invest, create growth, create sustainable development, create sustainable and inclusive prosperity. So we usually aim to have a minority stake of around 25%. And then we leave it to the experts, the global experts. That's the whole idea. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. We do not need to reinvent the wheel. And that's what others have done. So this is why we work and on a, in a very ambitious way. There's no reason why not. And we are seeing really now a growing flow of world-class players, all sectors, coming and visiting us. And we provide a one-stop shop. So we are the one-stop shop strategic shareholder for them, strategic partner for them in here. And then we work together with the interests aligned. And this is the beauty of a PPP, the interests are aligned. So it's win-win for everyone. It's win-win for us, Djibouti, and the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Djibouti, and it's win-win for the investors. Investors are not a charity. So we are in the business of investing in creating growth, in creating jobs, in creating prosperity, inclusive and sustainable. And that's ultimately the goal of Vision 2035. What role can public-private partnerships play in raising capital to respond to development priorities such as agriculture, energy and infrastructure? Ultimately, the goal of Vision 2035 with the FSD and everyone in Djibouti is to achieve inclusive and sustainable growth by 2035. And um, the path obviously requires, therefore, several steps. It's all about stages. Now, at the stage of where we are today as a sovereign wealth fund, so we are at the stage where we have been building a pipeline of different projects across different sectors with world-class players, and as I said, you know, multi-sectors. And uh, going forward, the idea is within the next three to five years, it's add roughly a billion dollars, roughly a billion dollars in terms of investments, which is roughly 30% of uh, the GDP of Djibouti. So we're talking big numbers effectively in terms of adding five, six, seven percent annual growth. And that's the game changer. And this is once again one of the key objectives of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Djibouti is to be the game changer, to make it happen, to make Vision 2035 become reality. And we can see it. I mean, it's why we invite really everyone to come and discover Djibouti, this hidden gem. Can you maybe explain more about why Djibouti's financial and political stability is so important for international investors? Are the comparative advantages stability? Now, that doesn't happen every day where you have such a very well uh, stable country in terms of politics, in terms of so social stability. And the other side is the foreign exchange. Now, when you talk about investing in any country, we need to look at the risk premium. Risk premium for Djibouti is much lower than many other countries, with all due respect to everyone, and this is what needs to be looked at. So part of the risk premium is the foreign exchange risk. Well, we have a pegged currency since 1949, 
Not many people know that, and this is why we need to talk about it and be proactive about our comparative advantage. So we have uh, currency that's pegged, like the Gulf currencies effectively, 178 Djiboutian franc versus the dollar. And that means when you come as an investor and you, you, you look at your expected returns, you don't have to worry about the fixed risk premium. It's all in dollar returns. And that is a huge comparative advantage again for an investor, given that we're talking about investments in, in this country. Slim Fadiani, thank you so much for joining us at OBG Talks. It's been an absolute pleasure.